Time is a quarter past six. Our top story this evening. The Prime Minister's told the BBC she's confident of getting the right deal for Britain post-Brexit, but there will be bumps on the road. And still to come, the Ken Loach film about life on benefits in Newcastle getting its own premiere in the city. Later on BBC London, the Mayor gives the go-ahead for three new river crossings in East London, but critics say they'll cause more pollution. And ahead of its reopening next week, we get a tour of Queen's House, the former royal residence that's had a multi-million pound makeover. Each autumn, hundreds of millions of songbirds fly south from Britain and Europe to winter in Africa. Many of the species are at risk of extinction thanks to loss of habitat, amongst other factors. They concentrate along what are known as migration highways. But around the Mediterranean, an estimated 25 million are killed by hunters, another reason their numbers are declining. The threat's particularly severe in Cyprus, where species such as black caps are eaten as an illegal local delicacy. Our correspondent Claire Marshall travelled to one of the island's RAF air bases, where British police are at the heart of efforts to protect the birds. It's 4.30 in the morning in southern Cyprus, but this is a British police patrol. They're looking for the poachers killing hundreds of thousands of songbirds on the base here. They hear what they're looking for, the song of a bird. Can you hear it? But they know these birds don't sing in the dark. The sound is coming from the speaker. It's placed on the trees, and what this will do is will lure the, um, the birds. A short time later, suddenly the convoy picks up speed. Yeah, you see? You see? The birds have been resting in these trees overnight. When light comes, when dawn breaks, this is when the hunters put up their nets and catch them as they take off. So the police think they've found one. They gently release almost 70 birds. One net can hold 400. The panic you cause to the bird by just holding it. And every night during the spring and autumn migration seasons, hundreds of these traps are set. It's just like seeing a person in captivity. The bird is in captivity as well, and you set it free. It's back free again, back in the nature where it belongs. So this is what it's all about, a local dish. Pickled or roasted and eaten illegally in secret, a meal of 12 can cost £60. As well as the nets, there is another, more traditional kind of snare. Sticks covered in glue. It's almost impossible for a bird to escape. You can see the sticky mass. These are the wing feather. Activists operating all over Cyprus say the British-controlled area is the worst for trapping. Basically, we saw an attitude of tolerance and trying to uh, turn the eyes away from the problem. There you see the net pole. People like eating songbirds. As we saw, investigating can be risky. And recently, these locals, including six MPs, blockaded the road on the British base when the authorities tried to clear the vegetation the trappers used for their nets. Crown land covers almost 100 square miles. Can the poaching ever be stopped? I don't think we're going to make the issue disappear altogether. There's a question of supply and demand. One of our challenges is that restaurants supply these to people who want to eat these, these little birds. There are now more police. They may not be winning yet, but at least these birds will be able to continue their journeys. Claire Marshall, BBC News, Cyprus. The retrial of the footballer Ched Evans has begun. He's accused of raping a woman in May 2011. The former Manchester City and Sheffield United forward had already been convicted of raping her, but the case was then quashed by the Court of Appeal. He denies the charges. Shine